Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file, pretty cool. And they had a question and I've already answered it. Uh, they want to continue it, so they hit plus on the keyboard. They're thinking it doesn't join up because the fact that it says it's 73 inches long. Well, it is. It's 73 inches long, so it's moving at 73 inches. Two ways we can figure that out is uh, we need to go from the inside um, of one line, and that line just happens to be one inch thick. So we only need to nudge it 72 inches. But I've already answered that question, but I wasn't gonna make a video about that. But he asked, how could he make it a lot easier to combine them or weld them together? Someone hit plus on the keyboard, just keep hit plus. Then he has to go through and cut these lines out, which isn't bad, but if you were doing something smaller in a lot of them, um, you would have to cut out a lot of lines. Well, you could do it prehand. Let's just take this one. Let's take the left click, right click. It's still 73 inches, so it's the same. Let's do this. Let's take the shape tool, select both those nodes, right click, break apart, virtual segment, delete key. And let's just delete that line to begin with. Right click break apart. What that does, it makes those nodes by themselves. Now, I could have possibly left one end on, uh, but it's so easy to put it in back. So I'm going to hit the plus key on the keyboard and then just control D and you can go as far as you want to go. And then all you have to do is put two lines on the ends. Not too much trouble. Let's zoom in here. I don't know what he's doing with this, but it's a pretty pretty cool design. And then just take the Smart Fill tool. And what the Smart Fill tool does, it fills in so nothing, those lines are not there anymore. Uh, when we move them, the lines move them with them. Anyway, I hope that helped him just a little bit. Thank you for watching.